Saturday morning early. It was the dawn of the universe, and time had just begun. And the centuries spread out like grains of sand when the child first saw the sun. When the child first saw the sun. Well, I was burning lots of rubber coming home from Tom Mayhew because Friday nights is poker. Lots of action, lots of moves. My mind was tired and empty in my pocket. Surely that's where I switched on the radio to see what I could catch. Well, there was news on every station, and once again I swore that I'd call about that tape deck because the news is such a morbid. This was kind of interesting. A UFO was seen. And some politics and ball scorers from the time is 4.50. Well, the news report was over and I waited for the sound of music coming front and back. I six speakers in this hound. But all I heard was road sounds in a funny kind of tone. And with it a strange feeling that I wasn't quite alone. And then the headlights flickered and the engine had just died, but the car, she started speeding and I couldn't figure why. Like I say, the headlights flickered and the engine went cold, but the lights around me meanwhile just shot up a thousand-fold bright like I've never seen. And I was scared like I'd never been as up above me. I heard this din that was kind of a screeching, throbbing whine, and I wondered what had happened to this brain of mine. And you better believe it, I started to pray, but the words, I didn't know what to say. And now I was screaming and I closed my eyes as the whole damn car began to rise. Well, I think I thank it, I truly do, because a lot of change in a second or two. The lights had vanished and so did the sound. When I looked out the window, I could see no ground, just stars all around me in a thick, thick haze. And I thought I was seeing the end of my days. But my heart was pumping and I heard my breath and I just didn't figure that this was death. When I heard this voice so clear in my head, saying, be at peace, brother, because now you're not dead. Right, a voice. My voice had said, just be at peace, brother, because now you're not dead. And I was alive, I could see a ton. As away in the distance, a big red sun blazed down on a strange and silent land where the cities were empty and the fields were sand. Where the sea was a crater with a hard baked shell and that sun grown bigger and hotter and hell just filling the sky. A fierce balloon, a hissing and spitting, a fiery balloon. And the rocks burned like kindling and that land glowed red as it puckered and heaved and groaned and bled. And I cried, why me please, I gotta be told. And the voice said, here then, the voice was cold, and the sun was heavy in the universe, and the light was growing dim, and those grains of sand were going fast, but it didn't bother him. And the voice said, this is only cleaning up a long dead place. Just burning the bones of a played out race. Then they went real quiet. Without much affair, just kind of kept at it till no one was there. They gagged on a plenty while starving for more. They didn't need no big ass nuclear war. And those who were leaders, the shrewd and the quick, the ones who could hate to make it stick. The ones who could hate. Ain't another trick. And you ask why you, you fool, who then? Those who would do this all over again. And now I was feeling the heat from that horrible place and I knew in my heart that this was a race. That I had to get back and tell what I saw. And I started in screaming and pounding the door. And that's how they found me. Just pounding the door. Kicking and screaming. Pounding the door. 
And I told him all that had happened to me, and I said things like, easy, we'll see, we'll see. Just wait for the doctor, he'll make you well, you poor man. You look like you've just seen the hell. <laughs> just wait for the doctor, and you'll be okay. And no one was hearing what I had to say, and I felt the tears rolling down my face because I knew that I lost, that I lost that race. And it was midnight in the universe and the lights had just gone out and no one heard that final sound, one last protesting shout, one last protesting.